G'day everyone, Jason Hainsey once again. QPL Rural right here in Narendra, Tamora and Luton with another look around the Riverina at what's been happening in the world of agriculture. Well, Wednesday night saw a little dribble of rain here in Narendra and some districts around the region, especially down south. Only five mil registered here in Narendra. Um, some of our northern partners unfortunately didn't get any. For those with a little bit of green in the crops, it will be of some use, but unfortunately the season's that far gone that up north we are starting to see the early signs of harvest coming on and in some cases headers are out in paddocks already for those lucky enough to have a crop. In water trading this week, well, we are seeing a number of producers getting that uh, seasonal. They've made the decisions on what's been planted and what's not over the summer period. Many people opting to go to that autumn-based program. Temporary water in the Murray-Midgee is trading around that 6.05. Um, same with the Murray system at the moment. So it is just a little bit of upwards pressure at the moment. Um, there is and the sort of the latest listings for water is around that sort of 6.20 plus. So I believe there is a little bit of upwards pressure there, but recent trades are around that 6.05. So yeah, I expect that market to rise across the summer there as uh, we see what summer develops and what water requirements are. In temporary water trading on the bore water low on murray well, we are seeing trades around that sort of 210 to 220. Again, there's ambition there and uh, listings are around that 250 mark, but that's where the trades are sitting, that 210, 220 at the moment on temporary water. And that seems to be throughout the zones, that one, two and three water zones is where that water is and all at that same price. Now, Murray Ball water is very similar around that same sort of 220 to 250 as well. Um, if you're lucky enough to have been able to transfer some water below the choke into New South Wales, you are looking at a price at the moment of about $805 to $810 a megalitre. As we expect, no increase in determinations this week as the dry does continue. In livestock markets this week, well, a little bit of a rebound in that Wagga market. It has risen there for that restocker type lamb where a lot of them are going locally onto crops or back down into Victoria. The restocker market has pushed through the 813 cent per kilo carcass weight. Probably the majority of the trade, though, is around that sort of 788 cent, which is where the National Trade Lamb Indicator is. Those uh, killable lambs, that's around where they're sitting, is just under that $8 a kilo at the moment. The cattle market, well, it's certainly been under a, a lot of pressure lately. It's down around that 503 cents on the Eastern Young Cattle Indicator at the moment. It's probably where the smart money is at the moment, as they continue to sell off their of that cattle stock and it's going to be very interesting to see where all those stock do come from once we do get a break in the season so uh, i would expect big things out of that that market once things do change and we do get a season next year the smart money could just be in cattle at the moment now in rural property the big news probably over the last few weeks and now this news is probably a week old now is the offer from uh, canadia's public sector pension fund psp to take over our Webster group, it is based in Leeton here and spreads throughout, well, I suppose all the Murray, Murray, Midgie valleys and throughout New South Wales largely. Now, this offer is reported to value the company at somewhere near $578.2 million US, which is quite a significant holding. And they obviously, Webster holds a great deal of water and land throughout our basin here. So it'll be interesting to see where that one goes and how that develops over the next few weeks. So back at our own books this week, well it's been up for a week or so um, and there's probably a good opportunity for somebody that wants to step into those lifestyle markets. Craig and Andrew and um, Lachlan have been down to Markwood, only two and a half hours from Melbourne. We've got two nice little blocks down there side by side. Carabine sitting at 125 acres and again only two and a half hours out of Melbourne. It's got a two bedroom mud brick home on it would make an absolutely perfect weekend retreat with a good open fireplace there and underfloor heating. Well equipped with stables, a hay shed, and is well suited to a number of uses, including its current use as a llama, miniature donkey, and sheep stud. You'd be hard pressed to find a more picturesque block with underground well water and creek access through the property. This very picturesque little pro little block is ideal if you're looking to relocate and downsize, and the kids have moved back down to Melbourne. Elmfield is a bit more developed. It comes in at 45 acres, but does feature a four-bedroom home with an office, a good living and dining area, and good aspects out of all windows out in the garden. It's a very well-presented property, and again, being only two and a half hours out of Melbourne is absolutely ideal for somebody who wants to enjoy the ski fields, enjoy what that country has to offer, that high rainfall country, and make the best of the outdoor and entertaining life that this property provides. 
featuring very good undercover car parking for seven cars, a good outdoor area with Pete's Rubber and large easy care garden. This is again an ideal place to locate yourself away from all the pressures of the outside world. And I must say at the moment, you won't find too many blocks around that are as green as these two. Now, as always, if you'd like any more information on any one of our properties here today, please feel free to give me a call at any time on 0488 594 450. I look forward to talking to you all again next week. Cheers.